NFL playoffs are set. The Lions, of course, have made it. In fact, as you are watching this, I'm in Detroit watching the Lions beat the Rams. Of course, they're beating the Rams. Honestly, though, NFL script writers went crazy because Stafford is playing back in Detroit on a different team. The Browns and the Texans are playing, and they made that massive trade for Deshaun Watson. Tyreek Hill is playing his former team, the Kansas City Chiefs. I got I gotta hand it to the NFL. They did a very good job, and I gotta say, this Super Bowl, it, it is actually anybody's Super Bowl. Everybody thinks it's gonna be Ravens 49ers. I, I just don't see it. I do not see Ravens 49ers. I can't tell you anything past that. I also don't really see the Lions making it all the way to the Super Bowl, but but hey, you bet your ass I'll be there. We've got NFL playoffs, but more importantly, we have Wheel of Mutt playoffs. In the very first round, the wild card, we smoked my opponent. We added some amazing players to this team. And today is the NFC Championship. We are one win away from the Super Bowl. We are one loss away from resetting this entire team. The most important thing is if I win today, we get a new prestige player. I don't want to think too hard about it right now because obviously I have to to win today, but Derrick Henry could be an insane prestige player since he also has a 94 overall quarterback. Mix and match based on what the team needs. Lamar himself is probably going to win MVP, which means he's going to get the first 99 overall in the game. So there's a crazy prestige. Puka Nakua, he's probably not going to get offensive rookie of the year because that's going to go to CJ Stroud. Definitely going to get an awesome playoffs card, right? Puka's got to get something. There's no way this is the last Puka Nakua card. Defensively, I really like the idea of Jalen Petrie. He's got a 95 overall limited campus heroes. Although I will say that 95 overall is kind of mid as far as 95 overalls go. And I don't really know if Jalen Petrie is going to get another card after that. Other options could be Tariq Woolen, Micah Parsons, who could win defensive player of the year. Jalen Carter. Now Jalen Carter is probably going to get defensive rookie of the year. I believe he's the favorite. Although, ironically, the only person who is competing with Jalen Carter for defensive rookie of the year is also also on this team, and that's Will Anderson. So honestly, I think Jalen Carter might be the best prestige option right now. He's gonna get a 97 overall defensive rookie of the year NFL honors card, and this 93 Jalen Carter is already nuts. As you're watching this video, though, the new NFL playoffs promo should have dropped. As I'm recording, it hasn't. Everybody on the Niners has a good card except for Nick Bosa. If they don't drop Nick Bosa a playoffs card, then it is actually genuinely no conspiracy personal. Although I can understand where EA is coming from. Because I myself, at one point in my life, I was a toddler. So I understand why they're acting this way. Regardless, we're a 91 overall squad absolutely stacked to the brim. And we've got two wheel spins today to add to this team. Keep in mind, it's the playoffs. I only get two wheel spins, but they are absolutely juiced. Last episode, we added Lamar, Micah Parsons, and Brian Breesy. We'll see what we can add today. I kind of want to beef up my right tackle. We'll see what this wheel spin lets me do. Our very first wheel spin jackpot. Shit. Although that's not bad. Wow, I haven't gotten this in a long time. The gauntlet. We get 5,000 coins to spend for every round of the gauntlet we get through. If we complete the entire gauntlet, we get a jackpot. It is not easy to do that. I'm going to play as the Cleveland Browns. That way I'll get uh, Nick Chubb for the halfback stuff. Now to beat the gauntlet, the high score is 40. So I'd have to get all the way to 40 to get the jackpot. If not, we'll take what we can get. Welcome to the gauntlet. Run the spacing concept, complete a pass. Okay, let's hope I can do this pretty easily. There you go, Deshaun. That's not Joe Flacco. That's not the elite Cleveland Browns quarterback that I know. Prevent a first down. Look at Mike White. Oh my goodness. Mike White, you better not dot me up, bro. No, quit it. <laughs> Let's go, Denzel Ward. Drill a field goal. Is that Katie York? It is. Make a first down. Let's check this down to Nick Chubb. Nice catch. Ooh, mousetrap. I'm actually really bad at this one. I forgot just how stupid the numbers looked on Madden 23 jerseys. It's completely warped. Can you believe they just went a whole, they just went a whole year with jerseys looking that stupid? Make the tackle or force the ball carry out of bounds to prevent a touchdown. Let's get it. Anthony Walker's been a Madden 24 wheel of my goat, man, with that lurk artist. Goal line touchdown. We'll go weak side. And Nick Chubb's got it. Power roll run. We have yet to lose a life. And we're still not gonna right now. Let's go, Nick Chubb. Oh, I am player locked on Jadevian Clowney. Oh, shit. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a minute. Score a touchdown. Ready? Avoid the hot spots. This is why I clicked the Browns, man. We got a nasty O-line and we got Nick Chubb. I'm trying to remember the meta for this. Just wait for... 
That was too easy. Stay in the hot spot for three seconds, then Stop. throw the ball. No, step up. Step up, Deshaun. Ah. Try that again. There's our first life right there. Deshaun is dropping back so damn far. All right, switch concept. Ah. Got to complete a pass here. Ooh, the wheel route is money. Complete the pass. Ah. Higher low passes are recommended. Well, I don't really give a shit about your recommendation. There we go. Running back gauntlet. Here we go. Got to score a touchdown here. All right, so I'm pretty sure I just walk past the first wave. Oh, my God. Are you joking me? <laughs> Play action power O, complete a pass. Can do Deshaun. Prevent a first down. Don't you dare, Mike White. Okay. Same thing. Prevent a first down. I see the post. I see the other post. I'm on that little defensive pass interference. All right, make a first down here. I'm just gonna go Nick Chubb again. That check down is a freebie. Boss battle. This one is hallway. You just gotta complete a pass inside the hot spot. You can take as much time as humanly possible here. So I'm gonna playmaker A, throw it to him. Does he sit? No way. That was outside. Let's go RB right there. Sit down. And sure, that one's in. Triple option? Are you kidding me? I love a triple option. Roll decision that was a touchdown that's crazy oh i see okay and that's a success that's not how that i should have kept that with deshaun whatever all right we got a little windy field goal here too easy level 22 that's one hundred ten thousand coins to spend on one player i still got five lives bro oh we're back on the read option though i'm handing it off Dude, okay, if that's not the correct call. Thank you. Ooh, here we go. Prevent a first down. I'm the high safety in the middle. Who's coming? Who's coming? No. Oh, and he mossed me too. Same thing. This time it's a mallard. Boss battle minefield. Don't step on a hot spot. Don't get tackled. I got to break this tackle, don't I? Shit. I got spooked. Can I just walk around you? Let's go. Gain a first down. Okay. That should be easy if you catch this. Kareem Hunt, snag. That was not a first down. I thought forward progress was going to give that to me. I'm going to try that again. This time it is a first down. Let's go. Gain a first down again. Right there, right on the boundary. Amari Cooper, snag. Switch players and play the receiver with A. Absolutely bottled. What? Wait, what did I do wrong? Switch to the closest fender and secure the tackle on the play by hitting the A button. Oh, wait, so I have to secure the tackle? What? What did I do wrong? Oh, thanks for the most ambiguous challenge in the world. Hey, 27 points is great. Multiply that by 5,000 coins is 135,000 coins to spend on one player. So we either get an offensive lineman to replace Panay Sewell, or we pick up a corner to replace Champ Bailey. I'm, I'm tempted to replace Champ Bailey, but honestly, my corners have played really well. I've been running a good amount of zone coverage, kind of going half and half with man. I think we go with the right tackle here. 135,000 coins can that get me a 92 it can't even get me a 91 because no 91 overall right tackles exist in this game there's the maxed version of champ bailey himself looks like bryce hall got a campus hero 91 speed 91 excel 92 man and he's six foot one there's a 91 adoree jackson who's similar better zone coverage but shorter only other option is kenny moore kenny moore is five foot nine sorry kenny man ain't gonna happen bud all right champ bailey your replacement has arrived we're going with 91 overall Bryce Hall. His zone coverage definitely leaves something to be desired, but he's fast. He's got good acceleration, great man coverage, and he's six foot one. And he's 202 pounds. This is a pretty big corner. Champ Bailey is out. Bryce Hall is in. Damn it. I wish I hadn't gotten that challenge on the gauntlet. Our first upgrade, 91 overall Bryce Hall. Nothing insane, but we're definitely happy to have it. Hopefully, we can get something better on this one. Okay, wait a minute. All right, so this is from week 18. I can pick up any single player who scored a touchdown in week 18. And one guy comes to mind right now. The Jaguars lost, which extinguished their hopes of going to the playoffs, which is sad. But there's a silver lining because Calvin Ridley had six receptions, 106 yards, and a touchdown. And guess who got an insane Campus Heroes 95 overall limited? It's 95 overall Calvin Ridley. This card is so sick. Bro, I, I'm not gonna lie. The Jalen Petrie is trash. Jalen Petrie doesn't have a single stat with 95 on it. Calvin Ridley's 94 speed. Insane catching stats. 95 short, 93 mid, 92 deep. He's 6'1". He's a monster. And I hate to shit on my prestiges this year, but I'm all over on prestiges this year. Jamar Chase, I love him. He was amazing at Halloween. So he's been a good prestige, but it's been about two and a half months since Jamar Chase got a card. And at this point, Jamar Chase is actually my worst 
first wide receiver, which is sad to say. So Mike Evans basically does everything Jamar does, except he's taller. Puka is three overall higher than Jamar Chase. And now Jamar Chase, I mean, he's got to come out for Calvin Ridley here. Gosh, there's so many jokes I could make. What, which, which, guys, we should play gambling joke roulette and we should just spin. Oh my God, that's a joke in and of itself playing roulette. Oh my God, I just made the joke on accident. I'm not going to make it, guys. I'm not going to make it. Calvin Ridley, 6'1", 94 speed. He outclasses Jamar in every single stat other than jumping. Uh, and he's an inch taller. Obviously, I got to put in Calvin Ridley here. So my new starting wide receiver is 95 overall Calvin Ridley limited. Ow, that's such a sick card. And there's another good prestige option. Calvin Ridley. I don't think he'll get another card, but to lock in a 95 receiver alongside Jamar Chase, be a pretty nasty option. Once again, I got to win today for any of this to matter. I'm going to take a look at Calvin Ridley here. He may have a free ability. I'm not sure. I've never looked at these. He is mid in elite for one, playmaker for one. Not worth it to go either of these. If it was completely free, I'd do it. But we'll just run stock Calvin Ridley. He's going to be amazing just like this. So Ridley, Mike Evans, Puka Nakua, Jamar Chase moves down. This is crazy. There are two prestige players on this team who are not starting. All right, boys. Calvin Ridley and Bryce Hall have been added to the squad. Today is the NFC Championship. The last thing we have is the challenge wheel. Can never forget about the challenge wheel before we hop into one of the most important games of the season. Challenge wheel is for the halfback triple crown. This is a really difficult one. My halfback needs to lead my team in every category. Touchdowns, receiving yards, rushing yards. Rushing yards, that's easy. Touchdowns might be hard. It's receiving yards that's usually pretty difficult, but we're gonna find out, baby. I'm not gonna let that challenge wheel dictate this game, though. I'm gonna let the game dictate the game. I want the win. That's the most important thing to me right now. Let's go, boys! It's a night game at Steelers Stadium. They've got Money Manziel, Dre Archer, Lawrence Taylor. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, I forgot about that. Johnny Manziel got a 93 overall Campus Heroes card. We got five minute quarters because it's the playoffs. I gotta say though, EA, please bring back the NFC Championship logos on the field. It says divisional. Just lame, man. It shouldn't say that. It should say NFC Championship. This is my game before the Super Bowl. Calvin Ridley's in on the return team and he'll start this game out at the 24. We got the logos on the field. First and ten, boys. Let's hand off Henry and let's find some room. Fuck, dude, he's got that Julius Peppers. That Julius Peppers is such a menace. Not a good start. Okay, he is in a three-down lineman set. I should be able to run the ball against this. I'm not giving up on the run quite yet. Great blocks. Puka, you gotta hold that DB. Damn, that had so much room. I don't like this. I don't like passing this early here. Gronk gets wide open on a whip route. Monster play. Needed that badly. What's he got abilities-wise? Mean Joe Green with inside stuff. Lurk artist. Lurk artist. Yeah. This is gonna be a battle. <sighs> Derrick Henry, no! Ah, do you think Julius Peppers could jump up that high and get that? I was a little worried right there that I missed an open man, but I don't know. I'm handing off Derrick Henry. I cannot give up on the run. Oh, come on, buddy. Get off! <laughs> Derrick Henry's still going. Cannot give up on the run. This team is too good at running the football for me to get scared and start throwing passes that I'm not comfortable with. Let's keep things simple. First and 10. He's going to take Gronk there. He's going to leave Derrick Henry. And I tell you what, that triple crown's looking good right now. First and 10. I don't want Derrick Henry to fumble though. Vita Vea's got a route. I'm going to block Singletary. I'm going to send Gronk across. We got a few underneath. Ooh, that's a bad ball. That's a bad ball. I can't be throwing that. Second and 11. Gronk. Wide open. Cut! Pepper's on his back. Let's go! First and goal. Huge play. He expects a run here. This is an RPO. I don't know how well he guards this. He's there. Puka Nakua on the RPO. Give me a block, Mike Evans! Puka's down to the one. I'm handing this off. Go, Derrick Henry! Third and goal. On the one still. I think we have this. Tush push. <laughs> Holy shit. That's a Madden animation classic right there. To be on the ground and then just get sucked into an animation like that. It's stupid, but it worked in our favor, so I'm happy. I gotta... Dude, this kick is actually super important. I have to actually focus the fuck up on this. Because it zooms on all Madden. I'm telling you, that is so much harder than it looks. So much harder than it looks. He's gonna kneel this one with Dre Archer. He'll take over at the 25. I genuinely believe that this game will come down to one stop. It will come down to one turnover. Whoever makes that turnover is gonna lose. First and 10. Let's hope it's him, right? I have both these fucking bottled. No. Huge hit. Nice work. I am just behind Mark Clayton right there. Damn it. I thought I had that. All right, I'm going to send the blitz this time. First and 10. That's going to be a handoff. 
And Will Anderson completely overplayed it? What? It is Dre Archer, man. That boy's fast. Uh, probably goes to the edge here, right? Kyle Hamilton coming down. We're all over it. Let's go. Come on. Let's get the stop right here. He's come, He's going to come out in something to, to get that. All right. I'm going to go out in dollar three, two. I don't believe you're running this. He might have just audible to a run. Yeah, he did. Bottled. Absolutely bottled. Carmichael with the TFL came down with Derwin. I'm reading him like a book right now. I got to do it for two more plays. He's He hasn't picked his play yet. He's going deep in his, his bag of tricks. Gun trips tight end. If he comes out an RPO set, I got to call a timeout. I don't think this is an RPO. It technically could be. I don't think it is. Oh, it is. Oh, no, it isn't. I don't know what this is. That's risky! No! It's the fucking NFC Championship! You're so beta. I'm actually so fucking mad at you. Dog, how can you devote? How can you devote all of this time and energy to make it seven games before you lose three? No, five, sorry. You won five games before losing three just to quit after one turnover in five minute quarters. What is wrong with you? Sadly, Mythic, sadly, I own you. I own you unfortunately. Dude, he's, he has, he's playing the most meta defense. He's got Julius Peppers in the middle, the most meta user. He makes one turnover. Can't believe he just quit. Is anyone getting season one flashbacks? Because I am. <sighs> I'm so sorry, gentlemen. I wanted to give you guys an amazing game. I thought that was going to be an amazing game. If this was the regular season, I'd play another game. Here's the issue. You can see it right there on your screen. This is the all Madden Super Bowl. Win the Super Bowl to become a season champion. Meaning the next game I play here is going to have all the Super Bowl animations. It's going to have the logo on the field we have to save that for the super bowl episode so we just take this w and i guess we move on i'm i'm really sorry gentlemen the good news there is a lot of course to be excited about so let's not dwell on that the amazing news is obviously we keep calvin ridley we keep bryce hall we advance to the super bowl we did not complete our challenge derrick henry may have had the most no he didn't even have the most rushing yards because of Dre archer i definitely didn't complete my challenge i do get to spin the rage cut wheel for what feels like maybe the fifth or sixth time this season and take the rage quit wheel right here Ooh, ooh, i like this one plus two to one position technically i could use that on let's say puka nakua who's a 93 overall i could get another 95 overall wide receiver or i could use it on let's say panay sewell who's an 88 and i could get a 90 right tackle I honestly think I need to use this on, on a high overall position and make it even crazier. I, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use it on Bryce Hall. I like Bryce Hall, but he's not an absolute monster. And I think I want absolute monster corners going into this. Bryce Hall is a 91 overall. So I can go get any 93 overall corner in the game. I think that's definitely the move here. There is out of position tank Dell. Dude, he's kind of good. He's a little short. He's a little, little light. I don't think he'll be making tackles anytime soon. Dude, can we talk about how clutch though that tackle on Dre Archer was? See, because Dre Archer gashed right up the middle. And he, dude, he was pretty much a touchdown. I don't know who made that tackle, but it was so clutch. And then we stood him up in the red zone. And he quits. And I almost, honestly, I almost wish he had fucking scored so that we could have played the game. But other 93 corners are Calvin Johnson. I don't like Calvin Johnson. Calvin Johnson is too damn big. He like moves weird. Ooh, Charles Tillman. Charles Tillman be kind of nasty. I could get cover athlete Sherman, could not. There's a corner Devin Hester. That's kind of a funny card. Charles Tillman, 93 overall. Fast as hell, 6'2". That's a huge upgrade. 325,000 coins for an incredible corner, Charles Tillman. All right, so CB2 is no longer Gonzo. It's gonna be Charles Tillman. CB3 is no longer Bryce Hall. That becomes Gonzo. And the good news is we can move Bryce Hall to depth. In for Adrian Phillips, as well as we can put him at backup strong safety. So Jalen Petrie, 87 overall, never has to come in. <laughs> Dude, look at this defense, bro. This defense is so nasty. All right, boys, we get a prestige player. We've made the Super Bowl. I got, I got to admit, let me look up the odds here. NFL Defensive Rookie of the Year odds. So Jalen Carter is the favorite, but he's actually not the favorite by much. He is a small favorite over Will Anderson. Both of them are on this team. Shit. This is actually so annoying because how prestigious have gone for me this year, I'm probably going to whiff on this. I'm going to I'm gonna prestige Jalen Carter and then Will Anderson's going to win this thing and I'm actually going to throw a fit like a toddler. What would be really crazy though is if EA drops a Jamar, a Nick Bosa, and then Jalen Carter wins a defensive rookie of the year and then they drop a Derwin James and all of a sudden I'm actually 
actually the greatest prestige man who's ever lived. This is your Wheel of Mutt Super Bowl squad. I apologize for the very premature ejaculate, for the very premature rage quit in today's video. I love y'all. Let's make next episode an absolute mega heater. I love you boys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then. Peace.